Tabaumia mm. was expecting mm. that assuming they were to win power, mm -hmm. he would then be next in line mm -hmm. and he would then be made flag bearer of the NPP, then mm -hmm. he wasn't in touch with reality. Mm -hmm. In fact, you suggested it is something that would never happen. Mm -hmm. He's the flag bearer. Mm -hmm. uh, are you regretting your words? No, not at all. I mean, congratulations to him uh, for emerging as a flag bearer of the, of the NPP. Uh, we say that uh, we in the NDC welcome it because uh, uh, we are not being complacent, but uh, we are totally sure that we are facing um, a damaged candidate. A candidate has been exposed for who he is. Uh, a candidate who uh, made all kinds of pretenses, uh, created the impression that he was some kind of economic messiah. Uh, but the reality today that he's been, as the Bible would call, he's been found wanting. He's been weighed in the balances and found wanting completely. Worse than that, uh, not just that he's. Um, is being exposed uh, for just being, shall I call it, blabbermouth, somebody who basically talks a lot but does very little. He's also been shown to be somebody who cannot be trusted, uh, somebody who cannot, who has gone very low levels of credibility. Now, so, uh, work, meeting him uh, into, in the 2024 is actually we welcome. Now, am I surprised that he emerged as a candidate of the, of the NPP? I would say no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really surprised because uh, the person who obviously would have, um, let's say this way, the person who actually would have been the one to take over from Nana Kufuado from the readings, and if you understand the NPP's working configuration very well, was supposed to be Alan Shumate. Uh It moved from Kufu to Nana Kufuado. Uh, and Akufuado contested Kufo then, uh, and then Akufuado took over from Kufo. Uh, Lunch I think contested Akufuado. It was pretty obvious uh, from the reading at the time we were reading that the next person in line was going to be Lunch Martin, knowing the tradition of the MPP as we did. Uh, so what we said at the time was something that we believe was the case. And uh, we still believe that if Lunch Martin had remained in the race, possibly it could not it could have been a different ball game. But as it were, uh, he pulled out. And naturally, once he pulls out, he gives some kind of advantage uh, to Dr. Baumia. And, uh, but even so, you can see even the struggle that he had against an, a candidate who, as at a year ago, did not even have in mind to run for, for the presidency against, um, let's call it, um, and he's my very good friend, uh, uh, Ken, Ken uh, uh, Canada, Japan, but uh, to be honest with you, um, he's not what you call uh, uh, somebody that, in the scheme of things, should be giving Baumia a, a tough run. But either but way, money to still give him such a tough run. Either way, yeah. 